Hey, this is Cam up in New York, and it's Sunday, November 2nd. Normally, I do one of these on Saturdays, but yesterday, uh, I was recovering from a crazy Halloween night out, and yeah, I had to, I got up late, and then had to get food, and then, uh, you know, go to work, uh, since I work weekends. So anyway, I didn't do it, but I figured I would do one today, because my next day will be Tuesday. And, you know, uh, I don't want to be missing in action. And I'm tired of seeing Ant's multiple faces all in a row and no cam to mix things up. And so, yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. The book. Anthony didn't show my full name. Well, I don't mind showing my name. So, here. See? Cameron L. Mitchell. That's me. You see it? And here's the book again. Uh, and someone commented, I don't know who they are, J, username JJMJ something, and he asked me what the book is about. Well, basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's an anthology of horror and dark fiction, uh, by a lot, you know, lots of different stories in here, by different people. And my story is called Girl in the Tub, which is, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's fiction, uh, which I don't write a lot of, but uh, I do enjoy writing. And, uh, I'll just read you at the little beginning ex excerpt of, uh, that kind of explains what the book, or some of the stories in the books are. So here it says, In these pages you will encounter a man's obsession with a particular girl and what he's done to satisfy his hunger, a prisoner's pact with the devil that doesn't quite yield the results he'd hoped for, a man haunted by the memory of his abusive father who does whatever it takes to wipe out those memories, a conspiracy by a neo-Nazi to take over the world using zombie skinheads, an unnatural and unspeakable relationship between a magician and an anim anatomically correct doll. Ooh, that sounds sexy. A coal miner who receives a visit from a hermaphrodite bringing tidings of death and destruction. And more stories to die for in Deadlines. Anyway, I've, I've checked out some other stories. They are really good. Uh, and my story, Girl in the Tub, is awesome. So you gotta buy the book. Uh, and yeah, go to Amazon, leave some customer reviews, tell people they have to get it. It's awesome. It's a really nice book. It's put together really well. And, you know, it's thin enough, and the, the stories are pretty short, so you can read, you know, a story here and there, and enjoy it. Oh yeah, and if you notice, I have my my bloody lab coat on, because for Halloween, yeah, I didn't have pockets, so I couldn't carry around dead babies or a hanger, but I gave out cards, which I got rid of all of them, so I can't show you, but the cards, uh, it was like Cameron L. Mitchell, Back Alley Abortionist Extraordinaire, uh... And then I had a website that was like www.ripthatfetusout.com. And let's see. Uh, oh yeah, and I said uh, taking care of unwanted pregnancies since 1998. It was, you know, it was stupid. I, no one knew what I was until I gave them the card. But yeah, my, my lab coat, if you can see, it's all bloody. So, you know, fitting. Uh, you know, fun. Went out for Halloween. Uh, we ended up at a... Uh, a club called Pyramid, where they were doing this Madonna-themed Halloween night, which was really fun. Although, my friends that were with me, uh, they were pretty Madonna'd out, so we had to eventually leave. And I don't really blame them. I love Madonna, but it was getting kind of, you know, tiring. Uh, but it was fun. Great Halloween. I got I got really drunk and saw a lot of really neat costumes. I think some of the best costumes I saw were uh, two guys dressed as huge Metro cards. And if you live in New York, you you know you knew exactly what they were when you saw them. They looked they were like exact replicas of the little metro cards that everyone has to ride the subway. Those god awful trains that I still hate. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope hope everyone out there had a happy Halloween. And yeah, uh, that's that's all for me.